Welcome to Sean Can't Cook, But John Can. Sean and I have been actors for many years, but I assure you, this is no act. He really can't cook. I'm going to teach Sean and you at home how to feel more comfortable in the kitchen, preparing tasty recipes that even the most novice of cooks can create. I will show you step by step how to construct each dish so that when your friends come over, they'll ask, how'd you learn how to make that? If you already know how to cook, I hope you'll find a few recipes to add to your repertoire. Let's see what's on today's menu. Hello, and welcome to Season 4, Episode 3 of Sean Can Cook, But John Can. But I'm getting better. You are. It's a new tagline. I know. I like it. I know. Today we're going to make an American staple and also a tapas restaurant staple, potato salad. But we're going to do garlic potato salad mm. because you like garlic. I do. And I like garlic. Yes. Again, you can adjust the garlic if you want. This is about eight cloves. You can use as little or as much as you want. You can use more of that if you want. If you're trying to ward off vampires, I guess, you know, just have some garlic <laughs> potato salad. This uh, potato salad has multiple uses. <laughs> yes, it's not just for eating. <laughs> no. So, the Sean Cam is up and running. Let's get it fired up and show you what goes into this. The ingredients that you'll need to make garlic potato salad are one teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. I'm going to start with one and a quarter teaspoons of salt. You may have to add a little bit more as you go. One tablespoon of yellow mustard. Again, you can use any type of mustard you like. I prefer yellow. One cup of sour cream. Two cups of mayonnaise. You may have to add a little bit more of that as well. You'll find out after you mix it together. This is three-fourths of a cup of chopped celery. I sliced it very thinly. This is three scallions that I have chopped finely. This is a variable. This is eight cloves of garlic. I don't put it in raw. I like to saute it. I cook this for five minutes in half a teaspoon of oil in a nonstick pan so that it would not burn. One-fourth of a cup of chopped fresh parsley to put on top if you like. You don't have to use that. And the star of our show, I'm using red potatoes. These have been rinsed. We're going to peel these and slice these. You want to try and get them as evenly sized as possible. So, for instance, I may cut this one in half. This one I may cut in thirds. Try to get them as close as possible in size. The equipment that you will need is one large bowl to mix everything in, a smaller bowl to mix all of the sauce ingredients, a spoon to mix that, a vegetable peeler, and a large stock pot. You want the water boiling, which will put that back on the stove, and I've added one and a half teaspoons of salt. And that's it. Let's get started. Step one is we're going to make the sauce, or whatever you want to call it. So I just realized I need a little spatula. So Good thing that drawer was right there. Handy dandy. I love that. doesn't always happen that way when you're over there cooking. But today we're going to, you know what, you'll mix and I'll put stuff in. Okay, what do I do? So we're going to put the mayonnaise in. So wait, are we doing one? Yes, we're just making oh, one okay. batch. I mean, how much potato salad do you want to eat? No, no, no. Because, <laughs> you know, we make this for the two of us. And this is for everything. Yes, yeah, yes. Okay, this is just going to be for the sauce, the dressing, I guess. That's so what we we'll do next. Uh, yeah. We'll put okay. this up here. There you go. So. And then what's after that? That. We're going to put the uh, garlic in. Okay. Just toss that in. All right. Might have to use that spoon to scrape it out. Okay. I'm not sure. It's kind of sticky. Yeah. And the mustard is going to go in. And again, you can use any type of mustard you would like. You can leave the mustard out if you really just Do despise. Yes. Okay. If you despise mustard, you can leave that out. Um, you can put that here. There you go. Actually, I have to say, you've gotten me to like mustard more. I know. I know. I, I don't really, like mustard. I know. He doesn't, but yeah. I've been putting it into things. I don't think you would eat it just by itself. No, I will never choose mustard. Right. Exactly. I'm sorry. I'm making a mess on myself. So, we're just going to, you know what, I'll let you yeah, that Yeah, so mix, mix, all, yep, yep, all, mix right. that all up together. 
We're going to leave the celery and the scallions for later to mix in with potatoes. You know what? Actually, I'm changing my mind as we go. What happened? Adaptable. What just happened? <laughs> I know, really. You know, I think this will be easier to mix in if you've got the celery and the scallions. And again, optional. Uh, yeah, we're going to do that. It's going to be easier to mix in when we get the potatoes. This is parsley. This is more for decoration. Ah. You can mix this in if you want. You can do that. This looks like a lot. Um, kind of when we did the pad thai, you know how the noodles just sucked up all the, yeah, the, the juice. Yeah. This is the same thing with the potato salad. I find it's better if you make it a day ahead or at least like make it in the morning if you're serving in the evening. Mm -hmm. Everything blends together. So you want to make sure that you're getting that garlic blended up in there. You don't want to have one person have a big chunk of garlic, you know. <laughs> did you do this with your mom? No, no. No. Now, my mother used to make potato salad, but not garlic potato salad. Mm -hmm. Hers was a little different. I don't think it had sour cream in it. Um, she also put hard-boiled eggs in, which you could do here if you would like. This is a little bit different. Um, I, I love scallions, as you know. <laughs> Everything. They're in the hummus. They're on our pad thai. You like scallions, uh, everyone. I put side, and I do use regular onions. No, no, no. Scallions. But for this, I'm using, and oh, I forgot to mention that. The scallions, I usually use just the green a lot of times. I use the whole thing. I use three, like, stalks of them. So I use three, and um, that looks good. How do you know when all the garlic is mixed up? It'll, well, you, I saw, when you were mixing before, I saw, like, a big clunk there. So Did I get it? Chunk, clunk. Clunk? Uh, Chunk? <laughs> chunky, clunky. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you did. You've been stirring it for a while, so I don't want to... This would be an all night thing here to start. So, this is good. So, we're going to get the potatoes out that we've cooked and we'll slice those up and put it all together. So, look what you've done. You cut up a bunch of potatoes. Now, how, how do you get them all the same size like that? So, I just noticed this as I was doing this. I was cutting them and putting them on the cutting board. And I thought, oh, well, these are all about the same size. So that's good. They're not going to be perfect. This one's a little small, but it'll be fine. So it's a good way to judge that they're about the same size. I'm going to use this handy-dandy little bird's nest to lower them into the boiling water, salted water also. Salting it is good. Potatoes don't have a lot of flavor. You'll need the salt. So that's it. We're going to put these in the boiling water, cook them for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'll check them. We'll show you what they look like when they're done. These have been boiling for about 22 minutes. I just wanted to show you what they should look like when they're done. And you'll have to test them. Come on in, Sean. We'll mm. come in a little closer. Mm -hmm. You just want to put a knife in. And it should be nice and soft, but not mushy. You don't want mashed potatoes again. So it just goes in with very little resistance. You'll know when they're raw. So, oops. There you go. So I'm going to run these under cold water. Rinse them off cool them down, and we'll chop them up and show you how to put it all together. The star of the show has arrived. Yes. Potatoes. The sauce cooked them. Now they're cooled from the water. And so what you want to do is, this is also an adaptable personal preference. Some people want big chunks of potatoes. Some people want them really small. I kind of go in between. So, oops. And that'll happen if they break up like that, and that's totally fine. So okay. I'm doing like half-inch cubes. Um, these probably would have been done in about 20 minutes. I let them go for 22 because, and we've talked about this before, mm -hmm. with apple pie. Mm -hmm. You know, crunchy apples in apple pie. It's a pet peeve of mine. Ugh. We're not even going to go there. <laughs> I want to show you how nice I am. I, I just hate apple pie that's crunchy. Potato salad's the same way. I don't want to crunch on a raw potato. So this is about what we're doing. Little half inch chunks, three quarter inch chunks. You can make them as big or as little as you want. And you'll see the little pieces like that. And that happens. So we're going to finish cutting up these three pounds, put them into a big, big bowl. And I can't speak today. And we'll get it all mixed together and have a little taste. So be right back. The potatoes are cut. Thank you for your help with sure. that. So, this doesn't make a whole lot. If you want to, you can double the recipe, make six pounds, or make a five pound bag, which is usually how potatoes come. It's a lot of potatoes. That's a lot, but we're two people, so we're not making this. <laughs> this serves, uh, I don't know, six people, eight people, because usually it's a side dish, you're not eating it like it's a main entree. Also with this, this looks like a lot, and it might be a lot. 
I usually make a little extra just so that I have it ready to go. So we're going to put in a good bit of this. You do want, I mean, it is potato salad. You want mayonnaise, you know, so you wouldn't want a steady diet of it, but you know. So just gently start mixing So like, this. how would you do this to like keep the potatoes intact so you're not like smash gently. them out? Gently. I'm just sort right. of like going underneath and, I mean, they're firm enough that, that's why you don't want to overcook them. Again, I probably cooked these an extra minute or two, but, um. It's got the potato salad, uh, Sound. Oh my gosh, I smell I smell the sour cream, I smell the scallions that oh. I love. Are there scallions on this? There, there sure. might be a few. And again, this will absorb some of this. Uh, dressing, yeah, I can see that already. Dressing. So, um, yeah, it's already starting. It like to instantly eat. looks like potato salad. It does. It took I, like it, one <laughs> moment. And like, it's oh. True. It's true. It's true. So, Again, there's a little extra sauce, dressing, I keep calling it sauce, dressing, sauce, whichever. Um, it's also a personal preference. Some people want it just swimming in, some people want it a little, dry. a little drier. Um, again, this that I have here I like because as it sits overnight, it is going to absorb some of this. So I think this is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I think it is too. Um, it looks like, as you said, potato salad. So there's a little extra dressing there. We're going to leave that. So. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, it's still intact. It's not mashed potato salad, so <laughs> I didn't cook them too much. So, again, I'd rather have them a little overdone than not done enough, because I don't want to crunch on it like an hour. Are we going to so. try it? Do you really want to try so? Well, yeah, we went through all this. So I, I just happen to have some bowls oh, and forks. Let everybody know what it tastes like. So, and this is also... We're going to test this now because I'm not going to use quotes because we are testing. Yeah, give her those quotes. Bye. Uh. We are testing this to make sure that there's enough salt in there because it's, again, a personal preference thing. See, now there was a potato right there that wasn't coated properly. So you do want to make sure that everything gets coated. So, again, but just be gentle with it so you don't end up with mashed potato salad. So a little for you. And <laughs> this is my lunch, so oh. we film these in the afternoon usually, so it's time to eat. All right. So let's have a little taste. So how do you want to handle the salt thing? Should I just take it? Taste it. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, we'll taste it and see. This is also room temperature. I prefer it cold, although it's actually kind of nice room temperature. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I don't think it needs any salt. I don't either. I think it's fine. But again, that's a personal preference. Mm -hmm. I started off with one and a quarter teaspoons in here. The water was salted, so the potatoes did absorb some of that. Water yeah, there's was fine salt here. So what do you think? Mm -hmm. Good. That's good. Mm -hmm. I really like it. The potatoes are soft, but they're also warm right now. As they cool, they'll firm up just a little bit. You know, I know that mayo has that egg feel to it, but mm -hmm. like, it feels like there's a lot of egg in here, and there isn't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mayonnaise has egg yolks, but mm -hmm. you know. But besides that, this is good. This is good lunch. So mm. this is really good. Yay! Oh, you know, I forgot. There's a little parsley on top. <laughs> oh, now it's dressed. There you go. So that's for on top when you put this into a serving bowl or whatever you're storing this in. So um, I've got parsley everywhere. Yeah. But uh, it just makes it look nice. You don't have to put that on. But mm hmm. Mm. Oh, again, here I go. I took too much. No, it's really good. <laughs> it's good. So, thank you for watching once again. Please subscribe down below to our YouTube channel. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram. Sean can't cook, but John can. But he's learning. We might have to change the name of the show. I don't know. Oh, we can't do that. No, we won't do that. Because uh, I don't know how far along you'll get, but we'll right. see. You're getting there. So, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Mmm. Mmm. I feel safe tonight. Mm-hmm. No vampires are going to get us. No. Yeah. <laughs>